So what we are doing with the dhanda is, uh, we have already worked upon this. It has been brought to a certain state of energy and receptivity. But uh, today, uh, I know we have given you a diagram. So from Muladhara, starting on the right side, comes to Manipuraka, from Manipuraka comes to Vishuddhi. What this means is, from Muladhara, we are skipping the Swadhisthana and coming to Manipuraka and uh, skipping the Anahata and coming to Vishuddhi and going back the same way uh, on the left side. Naga is covered with uh, a layer of butter and over that turmeric paste is the first step. Next one, they will put kumkum which is red in color as you know which is a combination of turmeric and lime. After that, we will put asti that is ashes from the cremation ground which has been carefully collected and brought with a certain looking for a certain quality of that. In yoga, the word naga and the word kala are used synonymously. Both mean the same thing in a way. On the side, the two mas are putting the soil of the land upon these hundred and twelve kala serpas. And then they will put a sti on them. This will be part of the Kala Sarpa Seva that people can do. The cobra or the snake represents the aspect of time, what is behind here is the Kala Sarpa. What does Kala Sarpa mean? You have heard of certain snake being called Ananta. Hmm? Kerala people are here, Ananta Shayana is there. Ananta means eternal. So there is one snake which represents eternity. This is why the Kala Sarpa is in the form of infinite symbol or infinity symbol that is representing eternal, it is a Kala Sarpa. There is another snake which is called a Shesha Naga. So Shesha means when the creation collapses, when galaxies collapse, there will be some residue left. That is the Shesha. If you have learned mathematics in a local language in India, you would know Shesha means the residue in the mathematics. You learnt in English it's called the reminder, that is the Shesha. So this is the Shesha Naga, one who is left over from previous creations. So one who is left over is very vital 
for the next creation to happen, to have some kind of information which can go into the next making of the creation. These are two important aspects of Naga. One is Kala, in that, in the Kala there is one which is Ananta, another which is Shesha. The third one is Kar Karkotaka, which is what these three aspects that we are handling here, we will go at that later. Right now, there's something else to do.